do you have a new baby in your family? We do, we've got two. So I thought, maybe I better make some cute baby hats. And I have a simple and easy to make pattern to share with you today. All you need to do is grab your sewing machine and find the cutest baby fabric that you can find in a nice stretchy knit. And let's get started. Let's make some baby hats. All right, two finishes for this cute little baby hat. One with a bow on the top, one with a knot on the top, but it's the same main pattern piece. And we're gonna cut out two pieces for the body and we're gonna cut it with the stretch from side to side. And for the bow, we have two pieces, a center and a main part of the bow. And for the knot top, we have this piece and I will give the measurements at the end of the video. I'm gonna cut it out and sew it first. If you have an overcast stitch on your sewing machine, definitely use that. I'm gonna use G here, this one. Otherwise, if you have a zigzag, use your zigzag stitch. If you have a serger, use your serger. If you need to use a straight stitch because you don't have any of the above, um, maybe just keep in mind that the hat may not be as stretchy. Fold the piece and just cut a little notch so you know where the center of the hat is. We'll cut a little notch in these um, knot pieces as well so we can match up the notches. Do it on both sides. Top stitch. Put the pieces back together lining up the little knot piece at the top with a pin. We're going to start down at the bottom here, which is going to be the lining on the inside of the cap. And we're going to sew all the way around, ending up just on the other side of the pin, leaving a little bit of an opening so that we can pull the hat right side out. And same for the bow hat, you wanna make a little notch at the center of the side that's gonna be facing up. Now I've already made my casing, so I'm going to take the casing and I'm going to sew it with the right sides together. I'm gonna to sew down one side of the casing, across and up the other side. So down, across and up the other side. Then I'm gonna sandwich this piece over top and sew across the top. and sew across the top and just trim off that little bit of extra there. And here I am at the bottom, so I'm just gonna back tack and we're gonna turn them right side out. Now I have to show you a quick and easy way to make the bow. So I've uh, cut the bow so that it's gonna have a fold line at the top, um, this stretchy in this direction. And I'm just gonna fold it in half and just mark where that center of the bow is so that I leave it open so I can turn it right side out when I finish sewing. So here's my bow. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna sew, leaving long ends of thread on each side 
at the beginning and the end of my sewing seam and I'm just going to sew down the middle from here to here leaving those long ends long end at the start long end at the end I have a bow that has two nice double um, thickness pieces of thread on either side of the center and I'm just going to gather it like that and twist in opposite directions those threads you can go around as many times as you think you need to it's a very pretty bow it's a lot faster than hand sewing and then I'm just going to tie it in a knot several knots trim off those thread ends Alrighty, we've got our knot top and our bow baby cap bodies done. And this is the this is the fun part, the big reveal. And I'm just gonna go around the edge just to pull out the seam. I don't top stitch the um, the seams on this hat, mostly because they're at the side of the baby's head and the babies this age are lying on their back in the stroller if they're out in public wearing these cute hats. So we want to make it nice and flat on that part of the baby's body and head where a seam would be irritating. I'll go back to the sewing machine and I will sew this seam closed with just a little top stitch. All right, looking good. And now for the bow reveal. So again, I'm gonna close this with a little top stitch. This will be inside the hat at the top, so you're not gonna see it. All right, oh, I should also mention, the reason I make this knot piece in two pieces is just to save fabric, because otherwise I'd be cutting a really long piece of um, of fabric to incorporate that as a one piece and it's so easy just to cut it in two and that means we can use the same pattern for both hats so what you want to do is you want to just push this bottom piece that I just closed to the inside and that's going to be your lining it's nice and comfortable you're just going to go around and get it so that you feel like the lining is up as high as it needs to be at the top then I'm going to sew over top of this, this side seam, maybe just like this much up the top, just to hold that lining in place so it doesn't pop out. To finish it off, you're just going to tie that extra piece in a knot. And then once you have those side seams just tacked a little bit, um, you can adjust the, the depth of the hat with this cuff. Again, there's no seams that are going to bother the baby on the inside or nothing to prevent it from stretching. And for the bow hat, the same thing. You're just going to push this bottom inside so you have a double layer hat. And just fiddle around with it until it feels like you've got a comfortable fit inside for the little one. I'm going to tack up the side about this much on both sides. And then I just finish it off by tucking the bow into the casing and if you want to you can sew the bow down so that it stays when it's being washed. Now the easiest way that I found to describe this pattern piece to you but if you start out with a rectangle and then build 
the two rounded edges from there. I think that's the easiest way to go. So you want a nine and a half inch um, end to your rectangle or 24 centimeters. And then um, this line will be seven and three quarters of an inch or 19 and a half centimeters. So that's the size of the sides of your rectangle. And then measure out from the center of the rectangle three and a half inches on either end and just round the tips. That should give you a total length of this pattern piece of 16 inches or 40 and a half centimeters. Your bow center is gonna be two and three quarter inches wide by three and a half inches long or seven centimeters wide by nine centimeters long. And you're gonna fold it in half and sew a seam. Your actual bow is five and a half inches square or 13.5 centimeters square. Your knot piece is 16 centimeters long by six and a half centimeters wide. And I'm just gonna show you this because what I did too was I trimmed the um, the end of it instead of a square end I made it a rounded end so that it would be easier to sew it to the pattern piece and in inches that's six and a half inches long by two and a half inches wide this way I will put these measurements in the description but you may want to come back and look at this end of part of the video on how to cut this piece and how to draft it how cute are these I can't wait to give them to the little babies of my family. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, will you consider subscribing to the channel? We've got lots of ideas and patterns and designs from my 36 year career to share with you. And also if you have any comments or questions, just leave them below and I will answer all of you. All right, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon with a brand new project. Thanks again, bye.